Okay, so this is my next video. This is the Thermal Grizzly contact ceiling frame for AM5 versus the AM5 secure frame from Thermal Right. Now, I have got installations for both as well as thermal testing. So we will find out which one compared to the stock retention is the better option to buy. Okay, so when it comes to the thermal right, uh, thermal grizzly skewer frame, it does come with this. Now, as you can see, it has been used. There we go. This you put down in the socket. So put this down here like this. And what it initially does is it puts like a pad in between these little gaps in the CPU because AM5, of course, the CPUs have got these little transistors. Are the little transistor in the on the side, so it's essentially to protect them, really. Now, of course, with this particular secure frame from Thermal Grizzly, it's actually a little it's a little bit different when it comes to the one from Thermal Right. Thermal Right one is, I'd say, it's a tad more simpler, but the one from Thermal Grizzly is certainly the OG because these are the ones that actually made it in the, on the market. So this is the one from Thermal Grizzly. Now I'd like to say a big thank you to them for sending this out so I can make this comparison for you. As you can see, it's raised a little and that's why you've got to put this part by here of this little cover in line. Because when you put it down, it will go down like that. That's that. Now, the screws for this particular one from Thermal, uh, Thermal Grizzly is a little... Now, as you can see... It's a very small Allen key, but these screws are smaller than the ones Thermal Right give you. And believe it or not, these actually make a better mount because when you bottom these out initially, because they're smaller in you know size overall. Now, when you put them down, then what it will do is actually make a much better seat seat in when it comes to the CPU. So. Put it in like you would with the other one. Make sure you do it on each side first. So one side, then the other side. Just like this. Like that. And then of course do like this. And then you want to do that again for each side to make sure it's actually down correctly. And as you can see, the actual height of the CPU inside it has actually risen. Which is rather weird. I didn't think that this would show that kind of a difference. So what that actual pad does, it just stops this metal thing by here, the overall secure frame, from making contact. And that is pretty much it. Now you want to make sure that these are tight on. Just go literally till it stops to there. And then you just, till it stops. You do not want to go any tighter because you will bend the motherboard doing this and then that's done that's it installed now let's have a look at the overall 
you can probably actually see that but let's have a look so as you can see look the actual z height of the chip from the security frame is actually higher so this goes down lower to the socket and it actually gives you a better fit that's what that actual uh, little rub that like pad thing is for it's to stop the transistors in the middle of these the cpu gaps from getting damaged when you put this down this definitely does seat better when it comes to the installation right okay so this is the am5 secure frame this is the okay so this is the secure frame from thermorite you've seen it before so when it goes down as you can see where the actual fitment is of the cpu as you can see the cpu is only raised a little tiny bit from this part of the frame so if you put it down then of course you put the screws in and then you use the included torx that it comes with so you wanna okay so that's essentially installed now all you gotta do really is just tighten it up don't over tighten them of course because you can damage the socket if you over tighten so probably just to about where it stops actually screwing in or the thread actually bottoms out Right, so that's it installed, that's the thermal right one, I have shown this before, but as you can see, the actual height of the CPU inside this frame hasn't changed. Right, so for my testing, I did use Cinebench R23, Blender Classroom and 3D Mark CPU test, and I've done three individual tests when it comes to the stock retention, the thermal right and the thermal grizzly. So for the stock retention bracket that comes with every AM4 motherboard, for the Cinebench R23 run, the idles with 34 Celsius with a max of 86. Blender Classroom, the idles with 34 with a max of 84. 3D Mark CPU test, the idles with 34 Celsius with a max of 72 Celsius. Cooling that I used was the MR360 from Inwin, so it's an AIO. So, yeah. Right, so for thermal grizzly secure frame, for Cinebench R23, the idles with 34 Celsius with a max of 85. Blender Classroom, the idles with 34 with a max of 84. And 3D Mark CPU test, the idles with 34 Celsius with a max of 72 Celsius. So for the thermal right secure frame, the Cinebench R23 run, the idles with 34 Celsius with a max of 86. Blender Classroom, the idles with 34 with a max of 84 Celsius. And 3D Mark CPU test, the idles with 34 Celsius with a max of 73 Celsius. Right, so you've seen the overall thermals. You've also seen the overall, also the differences between both. Now, the like I said, in the thermals, I did use the MR360 RAD from Inwin. It's their AIO, so it was easier to take it off and put it back together. Thermal paste, I did use Thermal Grizzly Conductor Knot. That was to keep each test fair with the same thermal paste so there was so the consistency was there so obviously there's going to be initial differences because thermal grizzly did make this the concept they did it with intel first then they brought her on to am5 now of course when it comes to thermal grizzly of course the overall packaging is the experience i will say that the packaging for the thermal grizzly secure frame is much better but then again this is more of a premium brand thermal grizzly are more of a premium thermal right are more of a budget line and what i will say is there's not a lot of differences maybe one degree difference when it comes to both but that could easily be a margin of error due to testing because the ambient air in the room and of course the testing that does change and of course that could be just one of them things now what i will say is for the thermal grizzly secure frame it does actually fit the cpu much better than the thermal right one does this one seats on the cpu as you saw i showed you it raised so it's going to initially give you the better fit now whether you want to buy either that is completely up to you but of course thermal thermal grizzly are the premium brand version and 
Thermal right, just uh, the budget brand. Now, yes, both are very good quality, but of course, Thermal Grizzly, as the more premium, they do manufacture these themselves, and of course, they are done to a high standard. Now, with Thermal right, of course, they're done more of just on a production line. They get them done and then sent out. That's why they're so cheap because they're cheaply made. Where as Thermal Grizzly, they do take the time to make it more premium than the competitors now as we know thermal grizzly is the ones that made this a concept when it comes to security frames mainly with lga when it comes to intel but of course with am5 it doesn't really make of a difference when it comes to thermals i did see like comments below the water cooling well even with ai or cooling there's no not much of a difference but I will, will say is that this does seat the CPU socket much better. And of course you do get that like secure pad that goes under this. So you do not damage anything. But of course this is where this is like 7 quid. This is like 20 pound. That is really up to you. I'm not going to tell you to go buy either one. I'm just going to tell you is whatever you feel is right with your budget then that's up to you. Of course, Thermorite does have many different colors where Thermal Grizzly is primarily black. If they do have any more colors, I will make sure to put them up here in the video. But of course, with Thermorite, uh, Thermal Grizzly, you do get the experience of it being more of a premium brand. So what I would like to say is a big thank you to Thermal Grizzly for sending the skill frame out. And they sent me out some more things as well because I asked them about this comparison. They told me there weren't gonna be a difference when it comes to thermals. And yeah, they are right, but at the end of the day, I wanted you guys to see the difference between the premium brand versus the budget line. Now, of course, that's just one of them things. If you want to buy either one of them, I will leave links down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe because I have got so much stuff coming here. I finally got hold of Thermorite, so the products I've been, you guys have been asking me for are on the way. I've got other things from Thermal Grizzly here that I'm going to be testing against some other brand stuff here. And I've got their Thermal Paste, which I'm going to be using now on the regular. It's going to be the paste I use for all my testing. So, yeah. This is Rich for Welsh Tech. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and weekend ahead of you. Goodbye.